Welcome to another Cups Tutoring Tutorial. Our goal is to condense information into videos that are somewhat rich in content but still take a very short time to watch. More than one viewing is usually required for a new skill. We need to get all of our terms straight, so today we're going to be talking about labels, values, and formulas. They're the three different kinds of data that you can see in a cell. Here I am, my active cell is A2. Good job. Okay, so in A2 I'm going to type the number 8. 8 is a value. That means that Excel recognizes it as something that can be counted or measured. All right. If I type EIGHT, it doesn't get recognized. So the graph over on the right around column F recognizes it as a zero. The formula over here in D3 doesn't know what to do, and it has an error message. It says a value used in the formula is of the wrong data type. That's because it's not a value, it's a label. Oops. So I'll change it back to a value. All right. A value is something that can be counted or measured, like 100, or 58, or 26. All right, and you see what's happening. When Excel sees a value, it knows what to do, so it can do things it's designed to do, like make data bars. See how the blue bars are coming up in column A. Or, like the formulas. See how D has formulas that divide the number by 2. Or, see the line graph. Okay, so these things all need numbers. And when you don't use a number, it's called a label. If you do something like type 56, but then you change it so that it's not a label, it's text, which you can force. It's kind of hard to do. But then Excel will not recognize it anymore. It thinks you told it that Excel is text. We'll worry about this number formatting stuff later. If that's confusing, forget I brought it up. Sorry about that. Anyway, I'm going to talk about the third kind, formulas. Once again, values are something that can be counted or measured. Labels are something that can't be counted, at least by Excel. All right, we type out the number eight. We can count or measure that. But let's talk about formulas. If I go somewhere and I say this equals A4, you may have seen in the first video, that's just going to say whatever's in A4. It looks like I typed a value in C5, but that's not a value. I know because when it's the number 100, look up in the bar up here, and the formula bar says 100. That's why I know for sure it's a value. If I click here, it doesn't say 100 up here. It says equals A4. And that's because whatever I put in A4 is going to wind up in C5. That's why C5 is a formula. Maybe I don't want that. Maybe I want A2 plus A3. Formulas will actually do things too. Maybe I want the sum of all of the numbers from A2 to A6. Okay, and it will add them all up. And as soon as I change them, as long as it's a value, Excel knows what to do. All right? But that's what we need. We need to remember label, value, formula. All right. That's it. Make sure you understand the difference. Please comment or contact if you need any help. Thank you very much. This has been brought to you by Cups Tutoring. Remember to practice these skills without the video right away to help them take hold in a more active part of your memory. And above all, while trying to learn new material, remember to set aside time to get plenty of exercise and sleep. Thank you for watching our demonstration.